Hi, I'm Mike Toman with the Florida Public Archaeology Network, and I'm here to take you on another hiking tour of one of my favorite local spots, Gulf Islands National Seashore, Naval Live Oaks area. One of my favorite trails to hike in Gulf Islands National Seashore, Naval Live Oaks area, is a trail called the Andrew Jackson Trail. And the reason why I like to hike this trail so much is because it's the original section of Florida's first federal road. Uh, Florida became a U.S. territory in 1821, and by 1824 they wanted to connect uh, from St. Augustine, that was in the Atlantic side of the ocean, to Pensacola, which was on the northern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, in order to, to to accommodate communication and supplies traveling overland, they wanted to have a reliable land route that was wide enough that wagons could actually be transported through those roads. And so in 1824, they started construction of this road in an area called Deer Point. Uh, Deer Point is what we call Gulf Breeze today. To construct this road for this section, they used about 70 uh, soldiers to build this road, uh, but it wasn't all constructed using the labor of soldiers. Uh, by the time they got to around the Tallahassee area, uh, they actually started using slave labor. Now the original plan for the construction of the federal road was that it would be about 25 feet wide. Fortunately though, they just didn't have the manpower or the money to make it 25 feet wide in all the different spots. So they had to settle for a lot of the spots to be about 15 feet wide, which is about how wide this trail is today. Now the reason why we have Gulf Islands National Seashore Naval Live Oaks area here today is because of this tree behind me. You see, in 1828, this area became America's first national tree farm, and it was done because of President John Quincy Adams. You see, Live Oaks, this tree behind me, were really important for shipbuilding, especially for naval warships. Uh, the hard wood of the tree was very structurally strong, uh, it resisted rot, and also the shape of the tree limbs made them great for making things like knees that supported heavy decks, uh, or futtocks, or ship's ribs, that supported the hulls of these large vessels. But John Quincy Adams didn't do this just on his own. He had a friend that owned a lot of land right here in this area, a guy named Henry Marie Brackenridge. Now Henry Marie Brackenridge became the first superintendent of the Naval Live Oaks Preserve, but he was more than just a tree farmer. He was also a federal district judge of West Florida. Now we're incredibly fortunate to have this area in Gulf Breeze. Uh, when this became part of Gulf Islands National Seashore in the 1970s, a lot of people thought we didn't need to preserve any extra land because not a lot of it had been developed at the time. But now when you drive up and down Highway 98, the only real area that you can go hiking like this is right here at the Naval Live Oaks area.